Our test this week is, can we back up last year? <laughs> Training in isolation is all well and good, but there's nothing like a bit of outside competition to measure yourself against. As the opening week of the TikTok Women's Six Nations approaches, the team head for a joint session with South Africa. <laughs> thank you for the physicality and thank you for the giving us hard time in the set pieces. I think uh, from our group we also learn a few things and then those are the things that we'll implement to our next game. Thank you so much. A successful session, but for Gwen Crab it represents something more. After months out injured, finally a chance to get back to playing the game she loves. Originally, even after the surgery, the plan was six weeks in a cast, six weeks in a boot. So things have gone very well. Um, I got taken out of the cast earlier, I got taken out of the boot earlier. After the game, I was just like overwhelmed. I don't know what's wrong with me. I was playing against Saris with Gloucester. I made a few metres and then got tackled awkwardly. And then as I came down to the ground, basically my, my ankle snapped. This looks like that will be the end of the afternoon for Gwen Crab. Kira picked me up from Newport. We went straight to A&E. We were sat in A&E for like eight hours. Um, Kira actually named it as the, the worst night of her life. And I'm sat there in a cast with my foot like, in pain and she's like, oh, this is the worst night of my life. And I was like, oh, is it? Like, do you think it could be worse? Or she was like, no, I don't think it could. And I was like, at least you're like, you haven't broken your ankle. <laughs> Scrum half Kira Bevan may not have the best bedside manner, but deep down, she's a good friend and housemate. Would you like a coffee? I can do a decaf one if you want. I've got decaf now, yeah. I've yeah, got decaf for ages, yeah. yeah. Yeah, weird. <laughs> so this is my argument. I didn't need to be there. You needed to be in A and E. I didn't, and I sat I think, there for I think like you twelve did hours. Need to be there though, because as a friend, um, as a friend, yes, but I, I didn't need you, any care. It, in my yeah, but in my thought, like I I think like you needed to be there because I couldn't cop. Honestly, I regret picking her up from Newport. <laughs> but anyway, oh, no. in the grand scheme of things, I was actually saying like. Um, that you've become a, better, a far person. better person and like yeah. there's silver linings to every injury and I've got personal silver li linings to the injury but another one is like you developing as a person. Oh that's really nice isn't it? Our test this week is can we back up last year? So we beat Ireland away last year. Think about everything they're saying in their team meetings, everything they're putting up in their team walls, okay? About fronting up as a forward group, about righting the wrongs of last year. So that motivation is there for them. So we've got to have that ability to back it up this year. Team four for this weekend. So the first group is going to represent us, okay? Uh, to play Ireland. Gwenny P, Kelsey, Cecilia, Arby, Gwen, Georgia, Al Carl, Beth, Kate. Congratulations. Outstanding. Well done. I remember being a kid and like telling people that Memgi and Grando's house is like my favourite place on earth. Hey Grandpa, how are you? Um, I'm at home now, I finished training. I was gonna see if he wants to come if he's gonna come over. I've been like looking around and stuff. There's like still like old stuff like this is my granddad's passport from like 1993, which is nuts. 
it's nice because it's like I feel quite close to them here. Back when Mam Ging Grandad was here, this was like the the formal front room. It was like wood paneling, the dining room here, um, and then this was Mam Ging Grandad's room. This is the kit room now, but this is the bed that I've nicely made for Dad whenever when he comes to stay. <laughs> but yeah, <laughs> look at him. Hello, you got up before Grandpa yeah, even. I did. I did. I did. I did. How are you? Yeah, good. Yeah, I'm good. Nice good. to see you. Big surprise. <laughs> yeah. <Go back>. no. <laughs> What's that? Oh! Whose coat is that jacket? My coat! <laughs> I had this feeling would have been about 10 days ago, and I'd, I thought, right, Kate's going to get a, gonna get a cap here. Didn't tell anybody. But word got out that I'd uh, I'd booked a ticket. I didn't like to say to you because. But you did. Because Alan had said to you as a surprise that your old man was coming over. Saturday afternoon, two fifteen, um, when those uh, when that national anthem comes on, that's going to be very very moving mm, for me. It is, yeah, that's right. Yeah, it's moving moving. normally. You know? oh, yeah, that's right. <laughs> but, yeah, that's right. <laughs> yeah, even if you just right. play it on the record or you know whatever you know. <laughs> But the emotion of match day will have to wait. First, there's work to do. Right, you've got a big old salad bar and then all these fresh made salads and you've got your hot food down there, you've got smoothie station down there. As match day approaches, it's nutritionist George Morgan's responsibility to make sure the team is properly fueled and firing on all cylinders. Phenomenal for your tendons. Yeah. I came in a year ago and it's been a phenomenal change, not just physically, but their approach to everything as well. They're really taking on board this professional mantle and looking to what they can do to really maximise it. So, we've got an asian -y. so we've got some sweet and sour chicken, noodles, uh, some peppers and then beef and black bean sauce. We've tried to build the players up to a point and now it's to maintain it so they can go and perform. So keeping the girls performing at their peak and then being able to recover back to that peak to go again the following week and cope with demands of Test Rugby. And in this team, the night before a match means one thing. The reason we have uh, Apple Crumble the night before a big test match is because, you know, not only do we want to fuel the girls up so it's full of lots of carbohydrates, we also want to give them a bit of a hug and feel like it's, a, it's a something to look forward to at the end of a busy week and the night before a, a massive game. It's well, a 4 to pre-match, yeah. 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 And it, this could make or break the whole weekend mm -hmm. on food, yeah. That's is really nice. Crumbles. It's okay. I'd give it about um, six and a half out of ten. Okay, we'll start. Um, just a couple of things, just to focus um, where it's more. So, let's remember the stuff we've spoken about and um, looked at over the last two weeks in particular. Okay, so regarding an opportunity for us tomorrow. Second point is we've spoken about inspiring. Okay, and why we do it. We touch on our more tomorrow. It's super powerful, okay? And enjoy it. Really enjoy tomorrow. Enjoy the occasion. And just express yourself and do exactly what you do every day. So we start. It's always an awesome occasion, I think, is getting the jersey, okay? So,
still said, let's relax. Right, okay. Um, and it was the opportunity to, to um, get ready for tomorrow, to build the day tomorrow. Ready to go. Okay, thank you very much. Hello. Hello. Right? Yeah, how are you? I'm good, thank you. Okay, yeah. I'm good. Uh, yeah, it's okay. It's a little bit sore, but nothing out of the ordinary. I had some treatment on it yesterday and today on my Achilles and stuff. Um, but yeah, it's all right. So, so any any more nervous for the game tomorrow than normal? I'm, I am nervous, but like I'm more excited now. Um, yeah. Obviously, because it's been a while since I played. Yeah. So yeah. What, what was uh, what was the tour tonight? We had fajitas. Or oh, actually, start off with a three course meal. Chicken, chicken and butternut squash soup with some fresh bread, chicken yeah. fajita, chicken and beef fajitas, nice. and of course apple crumble to finish. Oh, lovely! With ice cream and custard. Did you have some akiras as well? No, why would I have some akiras? Well, because maybe she didn't eat it all. <laughs> no, I was I was three tables away from her. Did, did give her a try this portion. <laughs> No, 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 no. That's quite funny for me. I've got a joke, Akira. She's not there. She's not you. Yeah, right, well, I'll see you tomorrow. Okay, yeah, listen, all the best. Thank you. Good, good luck, enjoy it, and, and I'm sure everything will go well. Okay, I'll ring you after you've done walkthroughs in the morning as well. Okay, okay great, we're on the train, okay. Okay, bye-bye. Okay, night. Sleep well, bye. night. The end. <laughs> All those early mornings we've spent make it count now. We win that physical battle today, girls in the fence. They've come to our home saying they got fire in their bellies. We shut that off from minute one, okay? In the tree! Come in! but also to inspire. We're lift off in the 2023 Six Nations. She's within touching distance and Wales get the try. I think there's a player down for Wales in some serious pain. Yeah, that is Gwen Crabbe and this is not good to see. She had a serious knee injury previously, which she worked so hard to come back from. We're just going to pause for a second because it's clear that Gwen Crabb yeah. is in real distress. And that, that, it's not nice to see and it's certainly not nice to hear, is it? Heartbreak for Gwen Crabb as just six minutes into her return, she suffers what looks like another serious injury. That's how close Wales are to a second try. Disrupted by Ireland, but it's got backwards. Bevan sneaks through. Kira Bevan gets it down. Try number two. Wales are rumbling, and Wales are driving, and Wales are scoring. Sean and Harris onto the field, and the Arms Park enjoying themselves. 
Kenneth Ling, oh what a fend by the centre to her partner in crime, Hannah Jones, and she is mobbed by her teammates. At half time, it's Wales who leave, and they lead very comfortably. Yeah, I don't know if you want to keep walking around with some drinks, just, just to keep offering them. Viewers on, okay? Let's show now we can close this off. Let's do it for Gwen Crab, who's had an injury coming off early. Let's believe do it for her. Okay? Empty your tank for the first 10 minutes. Impact's coming on to raise our tempo, to raise our standards. Let's go. Let's go. More scuffling of the ball. Meanwhile, Tupolotu. <laughs> this time she gets over. What a moment for Kate Williams. 22 years old, born in Swansea. Has played super rugby, but she decided to give it all up to play professional rugby because that is the opportunity that's presented to players in Wales right now. And the referee will blow. The future is bright for Welsh women's rugby. They have beaten Ireland. You don't expect for your kids to grow up and then to pull on the red jersey of Wales. You just don't expect it. Well done. Best day of my life. <laughs> <laughs> went through the Talking to my mum this morning, it just feels so right to be here. It is home and I just feel so honoured to be able to pull on the three feathers and pull on the red jersey. It was so amazing. start for Wales as they run rampant over Ireland. Rugby is a sport which can often deal cruel lows along with its highs. But sometimes dreams can come true. How cool is that? And that's all you need for a chance to inspire. Well done for winning. Thank you.